ready to make a video. Ah, but here we are. Oh, headband. Oh yeah, yummy. Hey, bits. It's not Caroline here, and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a makeup one. Now I went into Morphe. I think it was like three days ago. What day is it today? Who cares? I went in there. The salesman. That salesman knows how to do his job because I bought stuff I just didn't even think to, to go in there for. I went in there for the Icy Fantasy palette which I don't have anymore and it's like coming back in stock and it's taking forever to find it and I really wanted it and it wasn't in there. But he sold me some other stuff and I was like, yes, fine, I'll buy them. Now, to be fair, the brushes were like half price plus 20% off. So I was like, yeah, cool. So I got myself four brushes because, you know, cheap um so we'll probably use those today but i've got some things that i want to try out on camera and just see so this is p louise i don't know who she is she's some woman who looks fabulous her makeup looks flawless which i'm guessing is photoshopped for the picture but who really cares um you have cat hair on you yeah uh, and it's basically a base for your eyeshadow it's like a primer but it's not it's a base and i always you know me you watch me do stuff i always do a base but i do a shadow base so i always do like white with this brush here i always just do like the whole thing but this apparently works wonders and keeps your eyeshadow on and makes it perfect because i'm hooded i did hooded hooded lidded sometimes i'll get like a crease where my hooded lids sit so this is supposed to stop that this is supposed to stop it i've got number one which means it's probably be quite white but um it doesn't matter because we put color over it anyway since so who cares uh, and i kind of like it the lighter the better because then the color shows up a lot better so we're going to try that out today i also have this uh pride apparently it's a mini some of the colors that are in the pride palette and i was like okay and he, it was like again like half price so i was like okay it's 10g glisten up morphe palette and i just it's just for lots of glitters and lots of things uh 10 shades that dazzle the old razzle dazzle. It says, put on some glitz with these shimmering shades featuring velvety silk slip toppers and glam glitters. You'll be serving up looks that are sure to sparkle. It's your ultimate shining moment, Morphe babe. Cheers, Morphe. We're gonna try this palette out. Not all of it, because it's literally just shimmers. So we can't have a whole, uh, well, no. I'm going to the cinema today. I don't want to look like I'm going to Pride. <laughs> Now the packaging is really cute. We stand a shimmery rainbow and I'm really here for it. I like the feel. This is kind of raised so you can touch it. We don't need the bubble wrap. Ooh. So yeah, that's just, I mean, you wanna, oh. You're fighting on top of the Xbox. I think the fuck not. My cat's just knocked everything over all onto the floor. Back to the video, I'll have to clean it up later. I don't have time. This is it. It's pretty. It's so very pretty. There you go, you focused in on that now. That's nice, isn't it? I'm here for that. Yes. So we've got Keep It Kind, Blazer Trail, Shine Hope, Inspire Change, Accept Everyone, Love Yourself, Be a Visionary, Live Your Life, Big Dream Big, and R-E-S-B-E-C-T. Find out what it means to me, and there's a mirror in it as well, which I always love when they have a mirror in there because I don't have to carry one around with me. Oh, she looks tired and haggard. So let's swatch it. There's only what 10 pans so we can just swatch it and you can see so i'm going to start this way and then i'm going to do it that's so this top row this one so i'm not going to show it every time but this one's called keep it kind oh it's very soft and very silky and this is the keep it kind one yes yes the pigment come through the pigment okay next one is called blazing blazer trail oh that's soft that is soft i enjoy how soft they are I'm just gonna. I'm blurry, but my hand is not, so that's fabulous. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Look at it from up cut. That's pretty. That's very pretty. This one's called Shine Hope. It's like a yellow. It's not soft as this one. This one's not that soft. But I'll tell you something. It's gold and it's shiny, and I'm here for that. Ooh, ooh. Okay, this one's called Inspire Change, and it's like a blue like an icy blue yes yes look at that that's yes the next one the last one on the top row is called accept everyone which i'm so here for that so here for that it's it's like a lovely purple it's a great purple it's a purple with like blue glitter in it like blue undertones and i'm really this is the top five these are the top five colors and i'm so here for them 
they look incredible look at that yes I'm blurry but just deal with it I always get a bit worried with like glitter pans because they normally sometimes they just don't they just don't turn out very well um, like it falls and like it's just not as fun so we're gonna start with the bottom uh, same same way round so this is this one's called love yourself I mean kind of comes out but like like I said with most glitter it it's not gonna stay exactly because it's glitter this next one's called be a visionary it's very very pretty very mermaid this one's called live your life it's the green one we stand green I love green I'm here for green yes to the green oh look at that it should stay on the eyelid <laughs> if not I'll mix some like pigment drops with it keep it keep it where it's supposed to be okay the next one's called dream big it's like a silver with like some mauve kind of undertones if you can see that and I'll just next to the green one it's very nice Oh, yeah, there's some there's some purples in there as well, but it's like a silvery purple kind of colour. Okay, and the last one is called RESBCT. Find out what it means to me. And it's just a whole bunch of colours, but the main focus is like black kind of purpley, but it's just a whole whole bunch of glitter. Whole bunch. Look at that. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Now that I've swatched them all, it means that you don't have to see them all on my eyeball. Because <laughs> it's not the look for the day but I will be using some of them on my eyeball mixed with other other things but the main thing of this is I want to see if that oh God, I can't get the glitter off yeah I want to see if this works on my skin so I'm guessing I'm gonna to have to do it before yeah I'm gonna do it before I do my foundation so I'm gonna do this first and do my eyeshadow sometimes I do that if I can be asked most of the time I'm just like straight in with the eyeshadow uh, straight in with the foundation we're done, we're cool. So yeah, let me let me tell you how much this stuff cost me because here's the um, the palette Jess actually bought for me because I bought I gave her my Colourpop packet palette. I think it was like nine pounds, but it was like down from like 15, which is great. Or well, maybe more, I think it was down from 18. I think it was actually half price, which is excellent. So these brushes were like two pound 50 each because they were like half price. And this is a tenner, this wasn't half price. So this is 10 pound. They have loads of different shades and they also have different colors as well. So if you're going for like, you think, oh, instead of using like a plain nude base, I'm going to do a yellow or a blue, then you can buy them too. Um, and I'm guessing that's for the rich because um, I don't know who could afford all the colours, but it's not me. So we're going to put this on our face first. The man in the shop said to me, you don't need a lot, you need a little turn on the pea size, a little pea, pea, bit, pea bit on your hands. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. He said you can mix, like you can do it with a brush. Um, and he said the good brush to use, it. I picked one up and he's like, that's a good brush, this buffing brush here. So... I might try it with a brush. Normally I wouldn't. Normally I'd just pat it in with my finger, but I have long nails at the moment and it's kind of hard to do. Um, so I'll start with a brush. It doesn't work out well, and I'll use my fingers. But we're gonna get my new br buffing brush. Oh, I dro nearly dropped it. And it does feel, yeah, that would work very well. Uh, get me my Jeffree Star mirror, and I'll show you the size of it. So it's only, what's the grammage? What's the grammage of it? Does it not say it on there? Oh, it's 15 millilitres. Or mil, as some people will say. So it's quite, it's not massive, but it's like, apparently, this could be a lie, because obviously he was trying to sell me stuff, but he was like, I've used, he's like, I've used this much in like a month. And I was like, yeah, but do you do your eyeshadow every day? Because I need to know the, the basics and the average of it. But we'll see how long it lasts. If he says it's a tiny piece size, I love the packaging. It's very cute. Yeah, I really enjoy the packaging like black with like gold right in and it feels nice it's matte the gold lid it's very lovely it's very very nice so without further ado let's just see how it works now i'm going to get a tiny pea size bit on the back of my hand here and then no the back of this hand because i'm left-handed duh, and then use the use the brush to like buff it in and then we'll see how it works so i'm literally going for like this much can you see tiny 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 pea size because when he rubbed it out on his hand, I'm not gonna lie, you did not need more. And he also says that he um, uses it as a concealer. And I was like, okay. He was not wrong, you do not need a lot. Like it really covers up that fucking face. I think I may have done a bit too much on my hand. 
it feels nice it just feels like you're putting on primer um kind of it's not heavy like concealer or anything it's like electric light primer we'll do it under the eyes as well because i would put shadow there and i buff it all the way up to my eyebrow and like out a bit because obviously i do like depending on the day i do quite a bit Every time I make a video, someone mows their lawn. I hate living here, I hate this town. Okay, so it's kind of tacky to the touch, like primary to the touch. But like I said, that's all you really need and you kind of just put that on as a base for your eyeshadow and you're ready to go. When I look in the viewfinder, my eyes look fresh and ready for, ready for shadow. So basically on the packaging, this is a kit must have and it says squeeze a pea size amount into the base in the back of the of the base under the back of your hand which I did that then heat the heat from your hand will warm it up I should have spread it out a little bit more but it's not it's fine um, and the product will make it even more creamier to work with rude work the product in with the bristles generally generously coating both sides of your brush we recommend one of the P. Louise Concealer brushes yeah whatever I'm not using that once you are armed with the base prepare yourself for battle whether you carve the sharpest brow or cut the neatest crease slay away babe so we'll just see if it um, it's very loud so we'll just see if it works because sometimes when I do eyeshadow without a base on I'll get like little kind of line creases where I'm trying to like brush it in and it just kind of like it lags on my eye and I'm like that's ugly and I hate that so we're gonna see if it works so we're gonna I'm gonna do some eyeshadow and just see how I feel about it and uh, yeah you can watch me while I do it but there'll be music because it's the lawnmower and I'm not gonna use all of these but you'll see me use some of them okay I'm gonna go for nudes with this Anastasia uh, soft glam and then I'm gonna add some of that that orange that was in here uh, just to kind of to zhuzh up my eyeball to jazz it up a bit Look how <laughs> clean it is because I keep it in the fucking unicart because I'm weird and I do that. Um, so I bought a couple of, I bought a really small flat brush, which is what I wanted, a tiny detailed brush, which is going to be great, and a, a big old blending brush. So I'm going to go in with the new blending brush and start. Like I really want to tell you guys how well this is working but there's someone working outside being really loud but into the microphone it makes it so much easier to apply it where has this been all my life let's carry on because loud it's so smooth it's so smooth Oh my god, it's not doing weird laggy creases, it's just making my eyeshadow look so fucking amazing. Fuck me, this has literally been out of my life. £10 well spent. We'll review it at the end like we always do, but I'm saying yes at the moment because it feels... Oh, and the brush is so soft. Oh, so nice. So nice. So I saw this video, a really good way to get a cut crease. Vaseline. So you take, vas you take a cotton bud. You get a little bit of Vaseline on it and you put it on the place where you don't, where you want your cut crease to be and it gets rid of the eyeshadow really easily instead of you having to get like a wet wipe you just put it literally where you want the cut crease and obviously I go really far up, far up with my cut crease because I'm hooded and then you get a dry cotton bud and you literally get off the Vaseline and it takes off the fucking eyeshadow it's it is genius I saw it, I think I saw it on TikTok and I was like absolutely now obviously we've gotten rid of the base stuff but that's fine because we're doing cut creasing but i can tell you something for now for free that base stuff is great my eyeshadow has never clung to my eye more in my life the back of the packaging does say it's good for a cut crease so i might reapply it instead of because normally i use my drug lord uh jeffree star drug lord lipstick because it's just white and it gives me a good base but i think i might try um just putting this back on as a cut crease over the eyeshadow with the little buffer brush there it is so this time i'm going to get even smaller pea size little teeny tiny pea and i'm going to pat it into my skin to like warm the, it up like i'm going to flatten it 
on the back of my hand to warm it up because that's what matey said you should do that's what the back of the thing said you should do so that flattened it out got a little bit on my finger cool uh, i'm going to get the brush again and we're going to do it, put it back on the cut crease and it's not too like it doesn't look like concealer so if i go like over onto my eyebrow it kind of just fades it's perfect for my skin color like he suggested two and I was like, I think that's too warm. And he looked at me and he was like, are you sure? Like, looked at my skin. I was like, I'm 100% sure that's too warm for me. I was right. One works for me so much better than two would ever work for me. Two would just be too much. Like, if I pat it in, it literally is the same colour as my skin. And that is what I want. This is how high up I have to do my cut crease because my eyes are so hooded. I can't just do it on the lid. I have to do it on the eyebrow. Okay, so now the cut crease is kind of done and dry. I'm gonna get this palette again and I'm going to go in with the Blazer Trail one because it's just so pretty. I might add a bit of Shine Hope in. So that's the orange and the yellow kind of shimmers on the top row that I showed you earlier. Uh, so we're gonna take a flat brush. Okay, so I've got a flat brush. I'm gonna take this Blazer Trail color, which is very, very nice. And I'm going to add it in just on the cut crease. And it's quite subtle, to be fair. It's quite it's not like a oh my god, that's orange. It's like a oh that's kind of it's kind of peachy. It's a peachy colour you got there. It's beautiful on the eye. It's really nice. Really, really nice colour. Okay, so we've got that on the lid, which looks really good, but I'm gonna take Shine Hope, which is the yellow one. I'm gonna put it in the corner and kind of drag it up towards the eye as well. So I like a little bit of yellow contrast in the corner. That is the eyeshadow. So this is what I've gone for. Obviously I tied it up once the foundation has gone in and then I'm gonna add some eyeliner and stuff. So I'm gonna come back when the rest of my face is done. Okay. Hang loose dudes. Okay, so I've done it. I've done my whole face, I've done my hair and I'm going to now review the products that I bought. So the brushes that I only used two of them uh, and this is really good really good buffing brush it's the morphe r33 uh, it's really good for buffing in that or like buffing in concealer or something but normally i use a sponge but it's good if you want to use a brush i definitely suggest that and the other two i haven't used yet so meh um but we want to talk about this first so this is the p louise i actually don't know who she is i don't know who what the first name is penelope I don't fucking know um but she, she, it's the base for eyeshadow where has this been my whole life where has this been? It says cosmetic base, so you could kind of use it for anything, but I'm using it just for eyeshadow. Where has this been? This is the best thing I've, I've bought in a long time. Uh, it's £10 for 15 millilitres, which isn't, you know, isn't great, but I have not found anything else out there that kind of would probably do the same. It makes my eyeshadow go on so smoothly, and it looks great. It looks great. Like, I don't see it coming off for, like, the whole day. It, it feels like I'm wearing nothing on my eyeballs because of this stuff. And definitely go into Morphe and see what your shade is, um, because they have a lot, uh, obviously. Um, let me re... They have a lot of shades. One is mine. Um, my friend... Well, my friend Jess. You know Jess. She got two. Uh, I'm going to ask her how hers is going and how she feels about it. And I love that you can buy colours as well. You can buy, like, the pinks and purples and blues if you're doing that kind of base and it keeps that on and makes it look good. But... A nude base works for everything, so you don't really need the colour ones, I'm going to suggest. So for £10, wish it was cheaper, but £10 is not that bad, I suppose. Uh, I'm definitely rating this a solid, like, 9. I'd rate it 10 if it was cheaper, or if it was bigger for £10. If you got more, and if it was a 30 mil one, it would get a 10, because it feels great on my eyeballs. Like, it did the cut crease well. I'm really here for it. Yes to this yes to this okay now we're going to rate this 10g glisten up morphe palette um i'm going to rate the packaging first lovely beautiful beautiful packaging solid 10 out of 10 for the packaging i love rainbow i love it it's shimmery i love that it. it moves in the light i'm here for this um i'm going to rate so i'm going to give it the top row i'm going to give a 10 to the bottom row i'm going to give a 6 to because they don't come out as it doesn't layer as well as like you would if you're using a pigment like glitter and like drops which is understandable because it's not wet it kind of is a bit difficult to stick to the skin but the colors are beautiful so what did i say did i say eight i can't remember but i'm giving it an eight because the colors are really lovely and i have these two here on my eyeballs now and they look really good and the peach is beautiful i'm here for it 
it's a good nine pound that I've ever spent and it was 18 I'm pretty sure and it says hashtag free to be you at the top I'm here for it I'm here for pride I love the names I love the names they're very pride inspire change accept everyone yes Morphe this is lovely so all in all I'm gonna give it an eight so and the only reason being is I just wish the glitters were a bit better the pans are a lovely size like they give you a lot in there and I'm really here for that uh, I didn't read the back of it let me see oh it just kind of tells you in different languages <laughs> cool <laughs> But yeah it's lovely and even the back's shimmery as well they, they made sure it was all the way through um yeah no complaints it looks nice i'm i'm excited to use more of the colors i'm excited to like branch it out so like i've got the morphe 35b i think it's called can't even remember this big one i've got this so I can easily do this as a base and add the glitters on top. Look how colorful, so nice. So they're gonna go really well together and I'm gonna slip it into my eyeshadow drawer even though I have no space for any more eyeshadows in there. But I'm getting it in somehow. So yeah, all in all, good Morphe buys. And I would suggest getting that palette as well if you're in there. If you like colorful, if you like glitters, wow. Yeah, I really would suggest going in there and getting that base. Make sure you go in and kind of get your colour or like at least see someone like on YouTube that has the same colour skin as you and then see what one they use and then buy it online maybe. But if you've got a Morphe near you, go in and buy one. Um, I would suggest this and you don't have to use a lot. Like you use the tiniest amount for one day and it covers the whole, both your eyes. It's beautiful, I'm here for it. Um, definitely going to get that palette if you're into like glitters and shimmers and stuff and colors, cause it's definitely like, it's for pride. Like I'm here, obviously not. The subtle colors are good, but like the, the big ones, like you can dress the fuck up for pride with that palette and I'm here for it. Um, yeah, so that is my little Morphe collection. I hope you enjoyed. This is the final look. Let's do a slow-mo zoom as we love to do that. I have cat hair on my face. Anyway, thank you so much for coming and seeing me today. I really appreciate it. Remember to push all those lovely little buttons at the bottom. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see all of you beautiful people in the next one. Bye, 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 bye. I love autumn colours. I love autumn colours so much. They make my eyes pop.